October 8th through the 14th is Fire Prevention Week, but the Mustang Fire Department is spreading awareness of dangers that fires can pose all month long. So they're doing that through school visits. Here with me today to learn more, we've got Captain Eric Halter and of course Sparky, the one and only Mustang Fire Dog here with us today. Sparky and Captain Halter, welcome to the show. Thanks for having us. Great to see you. Okay, Fire Prevention Week. So you guys will be going to schools around Mustang, right? Um, tell us about what you'll be doing when you visit the schools. So our fire prevention program we have with the schools, we go and we do uh, assemblies and we do songs and different interactions. We have puppets and we uh, interact with the kids. We get them to sing along. We get them excited about the fire prevention. Does Sparky come along to the visits? Sparkly too? definitely comes Something along. Something tells me Sparky's a big hit at those schools. Um, but also, you serve an important purpose, Sparky, to make sure everyone's aware. Um, why is it important to you know start fire prevention safety at, at a young age, like school age? They just build that fire safety habits. And we talk to the kids. Uh, this year's message is cooking safety starts with you. So we're pushing that message with just different stuff to teach the kids. Uh, for middle school age kids, the number one burn right now is actually cooking ramen noodles. Interesting. So the microwave is a, a hazard area. So people that cook food in the microwave don't realize that you can get burned on it. So that's what we're kind of pushing this year is just general cooking safety. Totally, because as, as middle schoolers start to gain some independence there, they're cooking up the ramen. That water can get really hot there okay. in the microwave, so that's great to know. Um, you're also doing something for um, kids who are homeschooled in Mustang as well, right? We are. This year we're doing a fire prevention show for our homeschool children. It'll be at the Mustang Community Center on October 25th. It's the same show that we do at the schools. We'll have the song and the dances and we'll interact with the kids and with the puppet show. So. Okay, and you mentioned that cooking um, safety is kind of the big message for the kids, but also I'm sure for adults, it's a great time to remind everyone about some of the hazards, um, besides ramen noodles, of course, yeah. that exist when you're cooking. So tell us some about those. The, some of the cooking hazards we see, a lot of people when they come home from grocery shopping or something like that, they'll put their groceries on top of the stove. And sometimes you'll hit that knob and turn on your burners. Oh. So we'll run some fires where people uh, have stored stuff on top of their stove or they're cooking and they just get busy and they forget that they have something on the stove and it'll overheat and catch a fire that way. I have 1000% accidentally hit the knob and you hear that little, you know, and then you, you hopefully turn it back off, but that's a really good point. Um, and then let's just talk about quickly as the weather starts to change. I know it's hot today, but we're gonna get there eventually to those colder temps. So you might be bringing the space heater out of storage, dusting it off, thinking about it. Um, I imagine that space heaters pose a huge challenge for fires too. Space heaters do yeah. pose a challenge, so we recommend three feet of clearance around any space heater. Uh, don't use extension cords to plug in space heaters. It can over uh, overheat Overheat. your extension cord and cause a fire that way as well. Okay, so space heaters, just as you're thinking about it, um, make sure that you follow those tips when you want to plug in the space heater. Um, and then any final words for our viewers out there? Anything you want them to know? Just make sure everyone stays safe during this fire prevention week. Uh, you can always check your smoke detectors. Uh, you go and you uh, test them once a month, check their batteries, make sure they're good. And then uh, once a year, you can change the batteries out to make sure the backup battery is good. In there. And you guys do free smoke alarm um, installation as well? We do do free smoke alarm installations. And what so do people you, have to do? Yeah. You just call the Mustang Fire Department. If you live in our city's district, we'll come and install a smoke detector for you for free. So there's really no excuse not to have one there. Okay, okay Sparky and Captain Halter, thank you guys so much for coming on today. I'm sure those kiddos are going to have a great time with you all at the schools. And again, the homeschool show as well, October 25th, right? Yes, ma'am. At your community center, what time again? 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Um, okay, thank you guys so much for coming on today. We appreciate your time.